Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build an interactive list on scroll with Divi's sticky options. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. We're gonna give this page a name and then we're going to use the Divi Builder. Okay, great. So for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna click on build from scratch. And then before we get started, let's go into our section settings and add a background color. So I'm gonna come over here to background, click anywhere in here, and then we're gonna paste our background color like that and then save. Next, we're gonna come over here to our rows. So the row structure we're gonna use is this one right here. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna close here for now, go into our row settings. And in here, we need to make some adjustments to our width. So I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing. So for our width here, we're gonna set this to 100%. And we also need to do the same over here to the maximum width, set this to 100%. And then back over here on the content, we need to go to column one because we need to add a color to column one to differentiate our content. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, go to the background, and we're going to add our color by pasting it like that. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so while we're here, the next step here is to add some padding. So I'm gonna come over here to design and make sure you're in the right column. Next, we're gonna come over here to uh, spacing. So the padding we're gonna add is 20 to the top and 20 to the bottom. So to quickly do that, just click here on this chain icon. So our values are automatically added. Next, we're going to add some padding also on the left and the right. So I'm gonna add 3% uh, for this one and it's gonna be the same for the other side as well. Finally, we're gonna come over here to advanced and we need to go into our position because here is where we need to set our Z index. So we want to make sure that uh, our Z index here is high enough so our content can be seen. Okay, so now that we have this, the next step now is to add a text module to column one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna save this, save this one more time, click on this plus button and search for our text module and select it. So in here, we're just gonna add a zero one as our text. And then we're gonna go into our text settings. This is where we customize our text. So you can either click on this print brush icon and this will take you to your text settings. Okay, so let's start by setting our text font. So our text font here is going to be Playfair Display. Okay, so there we go, I'm gonna select it. And we wanna make sure that this is set to bold so it can really stand out. And now that I have this, we're going to also uh, make it italic. So I'm gonna set this one here by clicking on this little eye. And uh, we also need to adjust our text color because I mean, it's quite too bright. Okay, so next we're gonna set our text size because right now the size we have here is not good enough. So we're gonna set this to 2VW and now it's slightly bigger. And we also need to uh, add our line height, which is going to be 1EM. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Next, we need to add another text module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So this is where we get to add our title, which is lanterns. And we are going to set this to heading three because we want this to really stand out. Okay, so we have lanterns there. So the next step now is to go in and customize our text by either clicking here on the print brush icon or clicking here on design. Now I prefer clicking here on the print brush icon. It takes me straight to what, uh, what it is I need to make changes to. All right, so our heading here is going to be Playfair Display as, uh, as we did. So Playfair Display, here we go. I'm gonna select that. This time this needs to be bold and uh, we also need the color to really stand out. So let's make this black. So let me just paste my value in here. All right, so next we are going to set our heading size. So let's scroll further down and set this to 3VW. All right, so now that's nice and big. Now we need to add our margins. So I'm gonna to go to spacing. So our margins here are going to be top and bottom. So we're gonna set this to 2VH, set the same at the bottom. 
So the next uh, thing we're going to do here is to transform and scale our text. So I'm going to come over here to transform. And what we're looking for here is scale. So this is, I mean, the first one here is what we need. So we are going to scale this to 300% like that. And notice that I've applied this to both sides, the bottom here and the side. So now it's nice and big. Next, we need to go to transform translate. So I'm going to select this. Now, make sure that you disable this chain because we want our value here of 30% to be only at the bottom. All right, so that's looking great. I'm going to save this. Next, we're going to add a divider to column one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to search for divider. And here it is. So we want to make sure show divider is set to yes. And now let's go to our line. So I'm going to click here on design line. And this is where we need to add our color. So I'm going to paste in here. This is going to be black so that it matches with our text. Uh, and making sure our line is solid and our line position is set to top. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our designer weight. So for our designer weight, we're going to come over here to sizing. We're going to set this to four. And for the divider height, we are also going to set this to four. So pretty much I'm happy with the line. I'm going to save. And the next step now is to come over here and add an image. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Now this is our second column. So let's search for our image. There we go. So that's our image module. So uh, I have uh, an image here already. So I'm just going to click and look for my image. So I know my image here is a lantern. So I'm going to select it. Now what's important here is to make sure you have the right dimensions. I'm using 1800 by 1200, so make sure that your image is or has those settings or at least those dimensions. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to hit upload image. Next, we're going to come over here to design and we need to add our margins. So for the top margin, we're going to set this to 15. And now let's set our top padding. We're going to set this to 30, 33 VH. And we're going to set the same for the bottom as well, so our image can show. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and save. And we also need to add a text module to column two. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my text module, select it. And I'm just going to delete this text and set my text over here like that. All right, so now that I have my text in place, in fact, let me just have two paragraphs here. Don't need... Um, that many paragraphs. Uh, the next step now is to customize this text. So to do that, we need to head over here to design text and we're going to set this to cabin. So this is going to be our font. So let's search for cabin. I'm going to select that. And I also need to change the color to black. So I'm going to paste my color in here just like that so that our text really stands out. So next, what is important here is to make sure our text is easier to read by setting our size. Right now, it's a bit too small, so I'm going to set this to 1.2 VW, and our line height is going to be 1.6. Now, while we're here, let's uh, add a bit of uh, spacing. So what we're going to do here is to add left and right padding, and we're going to set this to 5%. All right, so I'm happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and save. And uh, what I'm going to do next is to apply a sticky effect to column one. So I'm going to come over here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to add a sticky position. So I'm going to come over here to advanced. In fact, we need to uh, add this to column one. So I'm going to click on this gear icon for column one. Go to advanced, scroll effects. So we want to uh, stick to the top. So make sure you click here on this drop down, skip to the top. On the bottom sticky limits, Let's set this to our section. All right, so for now, we're going to save. Next, we need to uh, save one more time. Now it's time to add our sticky to text one in column one. So I'm gonna choose that zero one, click on this gear icon. So what we need to do here is to head over to design and then go to sizing. So our height here is going to be zero and our sticky height needs to be set to auto. So I'm going to come over here, go to my sticky here, and set this to auto. Now let's head over to filters, because what we need to do here is to work with our opacity. 
So I'm going to come all the way down here and set my opacity to zero. And then on sticky, I'm going to click on this little icon. Make sure the sticky tab is selected. We're going to set this to 100. And then we're going to save. Now we're going to go into this second module, text module. Click on this gear icon. We are also going to need to go to our sticky options. So we're going to come over here to design, transform. So what we need to do here on transform, on the scale, make sure you're on the scale one, which is the first one. Go to your sticky. So in the sticky here, we want to bring this down to 100%. So make sure you've got the sticky tab selected. And we are going to set our 100% now. So that's going to come back to our normal size on sticky. Next, we're going to come over here to our transform translate. Making sure sticky is selected. We're going to now come to this value here, which we set to 30% earlier and set it to zero. Next, we're going to come over here to advanced transitions. And for our transitions here, I'm going to set this to a thousand milliseconds. And for our transition speed wave, we're going to set that to our speed curve. Leave that at ease. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. Let's go ahead and save. And we also need to go into the divider. So I'm going to click here on this little icon. Make sure you're in divider settings. So I'm going to come over here to our design. So here we're going to go into sizing. Because this is where we need to make our changes. So we're going to start with our maximum width. So here we're going to set this to zero. And then on sticky, click on the sticky uh, icon. And then here, I think 120 will work great for us. Okay, so we're going to set that to 120. And then we're going to save. Right, so I think this pretty much is going to work really well for us. So what we're going to do now is to clone this row twice. Because we just want to add more content. So that's one, two. So I have two rows here cloned which is fantastic. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. So I'm going to save this and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so this is how it begins. And then when you start scrolling, you notice that everything is getting smaller and smaller. Now, all you need to do now is to go in and change your images and your titles to uh, whatever content that follows your main content. So for example, for this one here, it could be you know something else followed by the image. And the third one is also the same. It can be followed by the image. Okay, so the final one should look something like this. So we have lanterns. And then if I scroll down, we have cameras. We have utensils. And that is our final design. Go ahead, try it out and uh, see how it works for you. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.